Hey guys, I'm Tom the Tech Jab, and this is one of the craziest days I've ever had at the office. Uh, as you can see, I'm not in the usual studio. I'm actually at McLaren's Technology Center just outside London. Not just on any normal day, but actually they've just revealed their 2020 Formula One car, the MCL35, in a gorgeous looking new matte papaya orange. Now I do love my cars, but obviously this is a tech channel. Uh, so while I'm here for the McLaren launch as well, I also want to talk you through this bad boy. It's the uh, OnePlus Concept One phone. You may have seen uh, some videos of this, some photos from CES, but I want to kind of get a bit more of a deep dive in it, show you how this very cool invisible camera works. You can see that it's actually using tech from the sunroof of this McLaren GT here, but it's not just a pretty face because actually this also acts as an ND filter. Before we talk about the phone and the tech, I do just want to fire this up. There's not many times you get a chance to start up a McLaren GT. <laughs> They're gonna tell me off. <laughs> This is very, very cool. So it's not all about playing around though. It's a little bit about playing around. So if you happen to have, I don't know, a spare 160 grand or so, you can have a go of this yourself. But in both the McLaren 720S and the McLaren GT that I have here, at the touch of a button, you can adjust the tint of the glass sunroof. It's called electrochromic glass. And basically there's a thin layer of film inside that conducts a low voltage of electricity. And as the current passes through the film, the particles either align or they disperse, which then lets more or less light through. So basically OnePlus took that technology, shrank it right down into their Concept One smartphone. It's just for the camera at the back here. So you can see, first of all, it's completely smooth. And if I turn it off, all the cameras disappear. If I double tap the power to turn it back on, the camera lenses appear again. Now you might be thinking, well, is that just a bit of a gimmick? Like who cares if the cameras disappear? Well, I actually think it's quite a big deal and not just from a design point of view. Although I must admit, I really do like the look and feel of this with McLaren's signature papaya orange leather cover and the glass strip running through with the camera lenses hiding underneath. Plus you can just imagine if you can make the whole back of your phone transparent, so you can see everything inside, a bit like something Jerry Rig Everything would make. That would be pretty cool. But what I'm most excited about is how it also works as an ND or neutral density filter. Something most professional photographers use on their cameras, I actually use an ND filter on my main video camera and it's a lifesaver when shooting outdoors or in bright light. And it works by reducing the amount of light that reaches the camera sensor. So I can keep a low f-stop and have that nice depth of field without everything being really blown out. Until now, the only way to really replicate this on a smartphone is with a third party little clip-on filter. But it's not exactly an elegant solution. Which brings us back to the Concept One. And in the camera app, if you switch to the Pro mode, you'll see the little ND8 icon at the top right, which you can then toggle on or off. A quick caveat though, because this isn't a retail product, you won't actually be able to buy the Concept One, and the software isn't final. So right now, the photos and videos have a slightly unnatural blue tint to them. I asked OnePlus about this, and they said it was simply down to the color tuning. But aside from the color, you can see a difference using the ND filter. We get more detail in the bright areas, like the clouds. For now, the Concept One has a fixed ND8 filter, but their product designers have told me that they're also looking at variable filters going forward as well. To answer a couple of questions that I had about this going in, firstly, it takes just 0.7 seconds to transition, which is actually quicker than the time it takes to open the camera app. And second, it does drain some battery. OnePlus didn't give me an exact figure, but they said it was less than, say, how much battery your phone uses for 4G data. So while megapixels, sensor size, and AI processing are all important when it comes to the camera, I can't wait to see built-in ND filters in next-gen phones. I think it could genuinely transform smartphone photography and maybe even lead to some really unique phone designs. It's so cool seeing different brands like OnePlus and McLaren working together and coming up with all sorts of innovations. I mean, it's crazy to think the trickle-down of technology that starts off in maybe a Formula One or supercar can end up in the phone that you and I might have in our pocket. So what do you make of the OnePlus Concept One and the idea of having an ND filter built into your phone's camera? Let me know in the comments below. A huge thank you to OnePlus and McLaren for working with me on this video and giving me the chance to see the unveiling of their car, meet their incredible drivers, Lando and Carlos, and just being able to, you know, nerd out for a day with cool cars and next-gen tech. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that like button if you did and subscribe if you want to see more from me. And I'll catch you next time right here on the Tech Chat.